Hello guys, today I wanted to run a quick fun experiment using ChatGPT. I know you're probably tired of hearing ChatGPT, but hear me out. What I was planning on doing was to try and have ChatGPT help me write a usability testing study. If you're not familiar with usability testing, I'm going to link to some articles in the description of this video, but usability testing is super helpful whenever you need to understand what's broken on a website, what kind of messaging is not resonating. It's helpful to see how website visitors navigate a site, how they find products, how they learn about your company. And in general, it's a super quick, super fast testing tool that any business can use to pinpoint what's broken, fix it, and especially understand why rather than what you can truly, basically you're watching videos of users using your website, commenting on their thought process and going about their day, basically the important thing here is that the way usability testing works, it's you have to actually write some tasks that these testers are going to follow in order for you to get the insights that you need. There are a couple of websites, platforms that can help you. My favorites are conversion crimes. This is a great one, especially for e-commerce. Their testers are super qualified, gave you a lot of great insights. So check it out. There's other ones that I typically use and alternate with. User Feel is a good one. Usability Hub, mostly for shorter tests, like their first click tests, five second tests are good, basically just to get a quick impression of a website, mostly for value proposition copy, you can use it and it's quite affordable. So these are some of the platforms. I'm going to link to this guide, which is from the Nielsen Norman group, where they give a lot of information on how to write good usability testing tasks. But we're also going to use it for our exercise today, which brings me to the infamous ChatGPT. So I'm not an expert on ChatGPT at all. If you are curious to learn about ChatGPT, you should probably follow people like like Sam Woods on Twitter is a master, so follow him. But what I'll try to do, it's basically to instruct ChatGPT, like if it was a junior usability researcher, usability guy, basically, and see what they come up with, right? So my ideal scenario is for them to write a usability testing plan. So a couple of tasks to understand what's broken on a software as a service website for a free trial sign up, let's say. Okay. So here are some of the steps that I found out that work that I tried. So first thing first, we have to give the AI a background. So we need to tell them what kind of knowledge they have, what experience they have. They, it needs to see itself as an expert in order to start writing this. And we also need to tell them what kind of expertise they have, what kind of skill set, what kind of knowledge. So that's what I'm going to do first. So let's write the first task here. I'm going to say, all right. Okay, so we gave them a quick background, all right? And now we are going to kind of pre-instruct them on what we're going to do. Let's see. Actually, let's start a bit higher up. See what they do uh, if I don't give them instructions.
Let's see. Cool. Let's see what they did. First, okay, sure. Here are six user testing tasks that can help us understand what's working, what's not, and how to improve conversions on the client's website. First impressions. Please take a moment to look at the homepage and tell me your initial thoughts about the brand and product. What are your first impressions? What stands out to you? What do you like and what do you dislike? Task completion. Imagine you're interested in trying out this product. Please navigate through the website and complete the sign-up process for the free trial. As you go through the site, please think about aloud about what you're doing, why you're doing it, and if you encounter any issues or difficulties, objections and questions. Imagine you are on the fence about trying this product. Please take a look at the website and tell me what objections or questions come to mind. What information is missing or unclear? What could be improved to convince you to sign up for the free trial? Usability. You see that it even divided tasks by subject, task title, which is great. Please navigate through the website and perform a specific task that you would normally do if you were a user of this product. As you complete the task, please describe any issues, difficulties you encounter and what you would expect to see on the website to make it easier to accomplish. This is great. As you complete the task, please describe any issues or difficulties you encounter and what you would expect to see on the website to make it easier to accomplish. Wow. Some things I haven't even thought of formulating this way. Sign up decision based on your experience of the website. On the website, would you be interested in signing up for the free trial? Why or why not? What factors influence your decision? Please describe the reason behind your decision and what could have been done differently to convince you to sign up. Final thoughts. Now that you explored the website and completed the tasks, please tell me your final thoughts. What did you like? What didn't you like? What suggestions do you have for improving the site, making it more appealing and user-friendly? What were your overall impressions of the brand and product? So this is an excellent starting point. If you have no idea how to write a usability testing plan study, this is pretty awesome, pretty shocking actually. So it's really good. Some things that I would improve here, which, so we gave them a background. We kind of coached them initially and we gave them a scenario uh, and we had them write the draft test. Now we have to kind of optimize the tasks. The things that you can do that are feeding them instructions. So if you know how to write a good usability testing, you can just optimize task by task or the whole list at once by giving them feedback like it was a Jux researcher. Or you can go and look online and feed them, feed them with instructions. So let's say that I found this article, right? Turn user goals into task scenarios for usability testing. These are a couple of great points to keep in mind when writing usability testing studies. And we can go as simple as copy pasting these. So ensure that each task scenario, we copy this and paste it here. I will actually have improved. Okay, let's see what it does now. Absolutely. Here are the six user testing tasks rewritten in to ensure realistic and encourage user interaction and don't give away the answer. First impression, please take a few moments to explore the website and share your final initial thoughts about the brand and product. What stands out to you? What do you like or dislike about the design or messaging? What expectations do you have for the product? Yeah, this is actually worse than the first one. Exploring the site. Imagine you're interested in learning more about the product. Please explore the website and interact with the interface that you would if you were on your own time. And as you do so, please think about a lot what you're looking for, what you find helpful, and what can be improved. Common tasks. Please perform one or two typical tasks that a user might complete on this website. For example, if you were interested in purchasing the product, what steps would you take? As you complete the task, please describe any issues difficult you encounter and what you would expect to see. Understanding based on what you saw so far, can you describe what this product does and what problems it solves? Please explain how you would use this product and what you would expect to achieve by doing so. Objections. Imagine you're considering trying the product, but you have some concerns. Please look at the website. What objections come to mind? What information is missing or clear? What could be improved? Final thoughts. Now that you had a chance to explore the website, interact with the interface, please share your overall thoughts and impressions. What did you find helpful or appealing? 
Yeah, I mean, overall, some things have been improved, but some are a bit worse than before. So it's up to you here, obviously, to find a balance. But this can give you some additional ideas, can spur some improvements and optimizations for your task. The other thing that you might want it to do is... Okay, so this is great. It even added the sign up task before the final thoughts task without even me telling it. So instead of just adding the task that I just gave it as an instruction to the, the end of all of this, you could have simply just added it here. It even placed it in the right spot here, which is this one, sign up for the free trial. Please sign up for the free trial of this product as you would if you were generally interested, try it out. As you do so, please describe any issues or difficulties you encounter and what we'd expect to see to make a sign-up process easier. Obviously, they are mentioning free trial, it's quite leading, but again, these are just some examples that you can use and you can instruct. And, and the nice thing is that every time that you actually improve this, the AI is gonna become better at it, right? So I actually already tried this earlier and that's why a lot of these are already pretty good because I went through a round of instructions before. So the AI already knows a bit about all this stuff here and it's quite good already. But I mean, this is pretty astonishing and I'm going to dive deeper into this. If you guys want to get more content like this, just let me know in the comments below and hopefully this has been helpful. Cheers.